this is certainly a technique that you need to use uh, when you are revising. If you want to get seven to nines, you need to go away and you need to look at your marking scheme because these are the way that the examiners will help you, uh, will mark your pieces of work, okay? So you will be leveled on this. It's not simply of getting one or two marks, it's about getting levels and writing levels. Most students revolve around level two, depending if you get you, yourself captain. I'll show you how to do this in a minute of how you could get capped in this lesson level. Um, but most of you should be going to seven to nine, which is level three, five or six marks. So it's only a six mark question. So whenever it is a six mark question, you will always do two peel paragraphs here. Okay, always your structure. In this question, and we did a similar question last week, but I've just reworded some of the words. And I want to show you the difference between capping yourself because you are not boxing, underlining and going back over your question. So this one shows you a similar evaluation question. So you must give at the end of each paragraph successes or weaknesses of what you have commented on. It's vitally important because if you're not doing so, then you are showing to the examiners, you know your knowledge, but you cannot apply it to a question. You're just writing as much as possible. And that's what I found with year 11s this term. So evaluate, ah, uh, look at the word, ah, uh, it means one. They, sometimes they won't write one, they will write ah. Uh. A sustainable management strategy on a local scale. Now, I wrote local scale on purpose because I've underlined it here. It cannot be national. You cannot say national parks. You cannot say nature reserves because that indicates the whole of Costa Rica. It cannot be international. You cannot hear in this question speak about Costa Rica's Mesoamerican corridor because it is not saying a sustainable, sustainable management scheme. It's saying on a local scale. So it needs to be in a rainforest that you've studied. Costa Rica would be our example, and it will be on a very local scale. This will be on camera. Wake yourself up, Tanvir. So the first thing we are starting with is a link. You can use the same facts we looked at last week. You can say what we, we looked at today. In the 1960s, we had 1.3% approximately deforestation in Costa Rica. Nice little fact to start off with. You then talk about on a local scale ecotourism has made a positive and sustainable impact. That is you making your opinion. You can use in these in this question what we've just learned about in that book today. When you are doing it, you are then writing down points. So you are giving place specific details. These points here must be place specific. I'm not writing this for you today. I think it's vitally important that you go away and you do this yourself because you cannot just feed off my answers. When we are doing the E, we are going to give evidence. So as Amin has just said, he may say about horse riding. And he may talk about it being low impact. And he may talk about it providing local jobs and employment. And it makes families financially secure. And then he's going to throw in there, however, horse riding, 
scars the landscape. You need to link it at the end of your paragraph back into your original question. Ecotourism, activities have some impact but more positives. That's just me making an opinion. I haven't given you any place specific facts at the moment because you're going to go off and you're going to know this inside out before you prepare it. But I have tailored my answer to that question without knowing any knowledge. And that will secure you level two without knowing any knowledge. So you need to do two point evidence explained and linking it back to the question. And then overall, you are making your own opinion at the end and why. As long as you are giving your own opinion, you are showing a very high AO3 skill here. And your AO3 skill of evaluation shows that you have learnt the knowledge, you have applied it to this question because you wrote on a local scale and you are giving your own opinion of whether it is successful or not. The, the examiner is not judging you on what your evaluation is. They're judging you on your ability, your skill to access higher order thinking skills and being able to evaluate. So that's why I wanted to show you today is you need to go away and start practicing exam questions. Mm. For the people that I work with, that I know who teach A-level, especially at this moment, a lot of A-level teachers say to me that GCSE students come to them knowing a lot of knowledge but do not practice exam questions. You can get away with it generally at GCSE, but at A-level you're not going to get away with it. You have to practice these sorts of exam questions and I will give you exam questions for you to study for this exam, but I'm not guiding you to this exam because you, out of everyone, are high ability students that should be able to apply yourself. There are people here that will just go off and learn the mark scheme and that is not the point of teaching you how to be a geographer and how to look at seven to nine is responding to novice situations. Take yourself away. <laughs>